Royals in the Shadows, Ten Monarchs and Their Mental Battles. Behind the grandeur of royalty often lie hidden struggles with mental health. More than just fleeting sadness, many monarchs have faced intense and complex psychological challenges. Here, we uncover the stories of ten royals who grappled with profound mental disorders, offering a glimpse into the less seen, more human side of monarchy. Number 1. The Tragic Tale of King George III. King George III of Great Britain, often remembered as Mad King George, reigned from 1738 to 1820, a period marked by the tumultuous American Revolution and the loss of the American colonies. Beyond his political challenges, the king's mental state often overshadowed his reign. His behavior was erratic, he would engage in repetitive speech, often in long, disjointed monologues, and was known for his excessive salivation during conversations and occasional convulsions. The prevailing theory of porphyria, a genetic disorder that could explain his symptoms, remains debated among historians. Today, the consensus leans more towards a psychiatric explanation, suggesting that King George's infamous madness might have been a result of mental illness, a tragic personal struggle for a monarch in a period that lacked understanding and treatment for such conditions. Number 2. Ludwig II, the Dreamer King. Ludwig II of Bavaria, often referred to as Mad King Ludwig, reigned from 1864 until his untimely demise in 1886. Known for commissioning the construction of Germany's fairy tale castles like Neuschwanstein, his reign was as fantastical as it was fleeting. Ludwig's obsession with castle building was more than a royal hobby, it was a compulsion that strained the kingdom's finances to the breaking point. Despite looming bankruptcy and warnings from banks, Ludwig persisted in his extravagant architectural endeavors. His reclusiveness, grandiose delusions, bouts of violence, and hallucinations painted a picture of a deeply troubled ruler. Physicians at the time hastily labeled him paranoid, but modern historians have posited that Ludwig may have battled with schizotypal personality disorder and Pick's disease, offering a more nuanced understanding of his complex psyche and tragic reign. Number 3. The Tragic Story of Prince Otto of Bavaria. In the shadow of his eccentric brother, King Ludwig II, was Prince Otto of Bavaria, whose own story is tinged with melancholy and madness. Otto ascended to the Bavarian throne in 1886 amidst his spiraling mental health. Historical accounts suggest that Otto's descent into mental illness began with depression at the tender age of 17. The royal family, grappling with his condition, secluded him in the Nymphenburg Palace, away from the public eye. His reign, lasting a mere six years, was overshadowed by his reclusive nature and deteriorating health, leading to his eventual retreat from the throne and public life. Similar to his brother, Prince Otto is believed to have suffered from schizophrenia from his early twenties, marked by aggression, depression, and delusions a tragic narrative of a prince lost to the shadows of his mind. Number 4. Nerissa Boslion, the Forgotten Royal. A hidden chapter in the annals of the British royal family is the story of Nerissa Boslion, a lesser-known cousin of Queen Elizabeth II. Despite her royal lineage, Nerissa's life remained largely out of the public eye until the release of Netflix's The Crown. Nerissa and her sister Catherine grappled with severe learning disabilities and developmental challenges, unable to speak and displaying behavior much younger than their actual ages. The sisters spent their lives secluded in a mental hospital, their existence barely acknowledged by the royal family. The exact nature of their condition remains a mystery, as medical understanding at the time was limited. However, it's believed they suffered from a genetic disorder, a stark contrast to the queen's life, untouched by such familial afflictions. Their story is a poignant reminder of the hidden struggles within even the most illustrious families. Number 5. King Charles VI, the Glass Monarch of France. King Charles VI's reign over France from 1380 to 1422 is as notable for its turbulence as for his unusual mental affliction. As a young king, Charles exhibited signs of delusion and unprovoked aggression, tragically manifesting in the death of several knights in a paranoid frenzy around 1392. His mental state deteriorated further into a peculiar and profound delusion, he believed his body was made of fragile glass. Terrified of shattering himself, he imposed a strict no-contact rule within his court, isolating himself in his glassy paranoia. 
This condition, known as glass delusion, was somewhat common in the Middle Ages but is rare today. The story of King Charles VI serves as a haunting reminder of the vulnerabilities that even monarchs face in the realm of mental health. Number 6. Eric XIV, the Paranoid King of Sweden. Sweden's royal history harbors a tale of intrigue and madness in the figure of King Eric XIV. Renowned for his aggressive foreign policies and his role in the Scandinavian Seven Years' War, Eric's rule took a dark turn due to his deteriorating mental health. Initially displaying no apparent signs of illness, by 1563, Eric's behavior grew increasingly erratic and violent. Plagued by paranoia, he ordered the execution of several courtiers on mere suspicion of treason. His reign of terror escalated to decreeing death for anyone who whispered, laughed, or even smiled in his presence, interpreting these as acts of conspiracy. In 1658, the Swedish people, exhausted by his tyrannical rule, deposed him, leading to his exile and eventual mysterious death by poisoning a decade later. Historical speculation suggests schizophrenia might have been at the root of his unpredictable and violent nature, highlighting the tragic intersection of power and mental illness in royal history. Number 7. Maria Eleonora, the Tragic Queen of Sweden. Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg, a German princess turned Swedish queen, found her royal life overshadowed by profound mental anguish. Her marriage to the Swedish king was less about ruling and more a heartrending tale of psychological torment. The royal couple's quest for an heir was marred by multiple miscarriages, culminating in the birth of a daughter. However, in a kingdom that valued male heirs, the birth of a girl plunged Maria into a severe depression, leading to chilling attempts on her infant's life. The situation grew so dire that the baby was eventually entrusted to the king's sister for safety. Tragedy struck again with the untimely death of her husband, sending Maria into further despair. She reportedly kept the king's corpse for months, unable to part with it. Maria's later years were a somber procession of grief and mental illness, a queen lost in the shadows of her own troubled mind. Number 8. Princess Alexandra Amelie, the ill-fated Bavarian princess. Princess Alexandra Amelie of Bavaria's life took a bizarre and tragic turn at the age of 23 when she began showing signs of mental instability. Her initial obsessions with cleanliness and wearing only white hinted at her fragile state, but it was the emotional turmoil in her family that precipitated her decline. King Ludwig I, her father, openly favored his mistress over the queen, a betrayal that deeply affected Alexandra. Her mental state spiraled into delusion, leading her to believe that she had swallowed a glass piano as a child. This peculiar fixation grew into a haunting fear that any sudden movement might shatter the imaginary piano inside her, proving fatal. This case of glass delusion, echoing King Charles V.I.'s affliction, is thought by some experts to be intertwined with symptoms of OCD. Alexandra's life became a poignant narrative of a princess trapped in the clutches of her own mind's illusions. Number 9. Philip V, the Pajama King of Spain. Philip V of Spain, who reigned from 1700 to 1746, is more renowned for his eccentricities than his kingly deeds. Haunted by a deep-seated sense of inadequacy since his youth, Philip's mental health spiraled as he aged, marked by manic depressive episodes swinging from total lethargy to bursts of hyperactivity. His behavior grew increasingly bizarre, he shunned baths and proper attire, preferring to spend days secluded in his room or receiving dignitaries while clad in his nightwear. The king even went so far as to convene court at the witching hour of midnight. While contemporaries lacked a clear understanding of his condition, modern historians suggest that Philip grappled with a cocktail of psychological ailments, including bipolar disorder, obsessive-compulsive disorder, and Cotard syndrome, painting a portrait of a monarch besieged by his own mind. Number 10. King Charles II, the tragic last Habsburg of Spain. King Charles II of Spain, the unfortunate last scion of the Habsburg dynasty, is remembered not for his regal achievements but for his descent into madness, a direct consequence of his lineage's notorious inbreeding. Born disfigured and beset by developmental challenges, Charles's childhood was marred by delayed speech and motor skills. His mental and physical health were so compromised that physicians of the era attributed his condition to a curse. 
With the benefit of modern understanding, we now recognize his affliction as a result of genetic disorders, although the exact nature remains a subject of historical conjecture. Charles II's reign stands as a somber reminder of the perils of royal inbreeding, marking the end of a dynasty in a haze of mystery and melancholy.